Pepperdine Waves facing Long Beach State at Firestone Fieldhouse. Waves enter the match at 3-3, three and three, while the 49ers enter with a 5-1 and one record. The 49ers start off hot in the first. Anna Kim finds Dooley under the net for the bucket, giving the Niners a 6-2 lead. With the assist from Kim Jacobs, Kelsey Brockway would sink this bucket. She would have 11 points tonight. She would also grab 8 boards for the Waves. Freshman forward Olivia Aguimake would drive the lane with a soft layup of her own. Waves still trailing 11-19. Kim Jacobs automatic from downtown with the long ball cutting the Niners lead to 5. Long Beach State's Anna Kim would have two breakaways in a row in the final minutes of the first half. She would finish the game with 12 points. Waves trail 26-38 heading into halftime. Second half action, Allie Green from downtown would get the assist from Richardson. Niner Spargo would answer right back with this beautiful three ball of her own. Waves' Keitra Wallace would gain some momentum for the Waves as she gets this layup here, followed by a breakaway plus one. And in the final seconds of the game, freshman Kim Jacobs would get the final two points for the Waves as she knocks in this buzzer beater. Despite a late run, Pepperdine would fall short to Long Beach State, 78 to 69 at home. Well, we looked passive. We looked like we were, um, you know, we were playing passive basketball. We were playing backwards basketball. We saw a person in front of us, and instead of attacking them like we know we should and we're capable of doing, we we wanted to go into retreat ball and play real easy basketball. And that's not what Long Beach does. They pressure you. They put you in bad situations. You know, they did what they were supposed to do. They got 21 turnovers on us, and and we shot poorly tonight.